Hello everyone, hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Friends, today we, are, today we are going to learn a concept that is net working capital formula. Now, let's understand what exactly this is. The net working capital formula is the total current assets divided by the total current liabilities. Now, uh, this is just the formula. Again, this is a very important uh, formula for not only for the board of directors or let it be stakeholders but investors have a really a great pinpoint on this particular form or on this particular ratio so why it is important let's evaluate let's start with the basics let's understand the formula first and then move to the next thing in simple terms the networking capital denotes the short term you can say the short term liquidity of the company we can do the net capital calculation simply by adding the current assets by and deducting the current liability. Let's have a look at the formula and try and understand. The net working capital is equal to your total current assets less your total current liabilities. Okay, let's understand an example on this and we'll try and evaluate the things. Let's say there's a company called Tully or uh, let's say there's a company called AppLink. They have some details like sundry, sundry creditors as let's say $45,000 and they have sundry daters as $55,000. They have another item in this that is inventories, which will be close enough to forty thousand dollars and prepaid salaries, which is uh, let's say fifteen thousand dollars. The final and the most final thing that is the outstanding advertisements, which is let's say five thousand dollars. So find out the networking capital of AppleLink. See in the above example, we have been given the both the current assets and the current liability. We first we need to separate the current asset from the current liabilities. Then we we'll need the total. We need to total up the or need to sum up the current assets and also the current liability. And we'll get. We need to find the difference between the current assets and current liabilities. So what does the current assets include? Your current asset includes your sundry daters, your inventories, any prepaid salaries okay and in case of current liabilities it includes your sundry creditors and uh, any outstanding advertisement or salary expenses so let's sum up and uh, find the net working capital or let's first find out the total current assets the total current assets assets is going to be your daters your inventories and your prepaid salaries and your current liabilities is going to be your sundry creditors plus any outstanding advertisement expense. So your net working capital is going to be your current assets less your current liability, which is sixty thousand dollars. Right. Let's make it fifty thousand. So it's going to be fifteen thousand. So the net working capital formula now it is quite visible to us we we evaluated with the help of an example let's see the networking capital calculation of colgate if you see this is the snapshot of the colgate's 2016 and 2015 financial there are some details of current assets 4338 and 4384 and in case of the current liabilities the data is 3305 and 3534 so if you try and calculate the networking capital for the same then what you receive is uh, something like this the current assets current liabilities you deduct that you get your networking capital both for 2016 and 2015 now we have got the clear idea regarding the formula let's understand the interpretation of the explanation part of the net cap working capital formula see nwc is one of the most uh, popular ratio investors use in this formula there are two important elements the first element that you have 
is the current assets current assets are those assets that can be liquidated within one year or less and that means the current assets will pay off of or will pay off for less than a year so we can get we, we can give an example of current assets and such as like datas you have which is your uh, your accounts receivables then you have your inventories any prepaid saldi which we just discussed in the previous example the second element of the same is your current liabilities your current liabilities are those liabilities that can be paid for less than an year and uh, the example of the current liabilities are sundry creditors and uh, you have your accounts payable any outstanding rent if any so in this formula we'll calculate the difference between the total current assets and the total current liability for networking capital uh, calculation now what exactly is the use of this formula if you look at the current assets and the current liabilities you'll find them on the balance sheet and the investor use the networking capital to know whether a company is liquid enough to pay off its short-term liabilities so that's why NWC is interpreted properly there are two ways through which one can interpret and can understand that the there are two ways you know uh, through which we can interpret the NWC first is when the NWC which, that is the net working capital is positive if the investor in this case the investor can understand that the company has enough current assets so your current asset is greater than current liabilities and when your NWC is uh, negative then in that case your current asset will be less than your current liabilities that means uh, the investor can comprehend that the company does not have enough assets to pay off its current liabilities so investor can also see the usefulness of the NWC in calculating the free cash flow to the firm and free cash flow to the equity now remember one thing this two component are basically the part of the DCF calculation the discounted cash flow calculation for valuing a company or any stock so but if if, if there is increase if there is an any increase in NWC it isn't considered as positive remember that thing rather it's called as negative cash flow and obviously this increased working capital is not available for equity now here is your net working capital calculator we just put a punch down any number where you're, let's say 20,000 and in your current liability as 10,000 based on the calculator you get your net working capital as 10,000 now let's say it your current assets remains 20,000 and if your current liability goes to 15,000 the net working capital uh, formula is 5,000 so based on this you can try and evaluate your own interpretations and uh, come out with uh, some really useful ideas and uh, which can be helpful while evaluating the financial statements thank you everyone